All right, so we're back, and we're here talking about the uh, Arduino from DF Robot. This is the uh, DF Robot Mega. It's by far the largest microcontroller with the, I mean, the most support that the, you know, the most expansion possible. Um, lets you do many things. Um, this is actually a very good board. We found that all of DF Robot's um, microcontrollers and products and sensors are very nice. By far, they have the most sensors available out of the box that are custom designed for the Arduino and for all their other products. So it's nice, you can just shop at one manufacturer and get all the things you need. They have many different sensors ranging from sound, visual, audio, I mean anything, you name it, temperature, compasses, things like that. Easy to find, really good support, uh, <clears throat> easy to work with, we've never had a problem with any of the DF Robot products, so we're pretty happy with them. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> we can go on to talk about many different things about the uh, DF Robot and the Arduino. <clears throat> The main thing to notice with all the Arduino uh, pl um, uh, microcontrollers is that you know they really cater to your specific uh, project. So you need to pick the right one. If you need something that's got a lot of expansion, a lot of you know a lot of ports, lets you do just about anything you need to do, and space is not an issue for you, then you want to choose the Mega. The Mega has got by far some of the most expansion that we've seen compared to any of the other Arduino boards from DF Robot. So as an example. <coughs> with the Mega, you can purchase shields just like all the other Arduinos. However, this is a Mega specific shield. So for example, I've seen this two, these two combinations work together with uh, home automation projects, simply because you can go ahead and plug in. <clears throat> Here I believe there's, there's probably over, I don't know, let's see, there's uh, 6 to 12, 12 times 4, 48, 48 here. There's about over 50, 50, I think there's 56 digital pins here and about 16 analog pins plus you have serial and I2C and additional power here. Um, you can tell that this is going to give you a lot of expansion. I've seen this coupled with home uh, home automation systems with all the power relays hooked straight into a, uh, into a circuit breaker controlling the entire house wirelessly. Um, again, that's one. This is just one of the many shields they have available. Here's another shield that they have available that we use to test many of our things with. And it's just another expansion shield. It's called the IO expansion shield from DF Robot, and that just plugs right in there like so. Um, they also have some like DC uh, DC motor shields and whatnot. We also have an XB shield that you have here that we actually have our, uh, our we have a GPS plugged into right now, and we're actually doing some GPS testing with this shield. And that plugs in very easily. As you can see, just one, two, three plugs in and you're ready to go. Um, <clears throat> again, you have to understand what your project is and what you want to do with your project before you go and purchase one of these boards. You need to make sure you know, you, you, you're getting what you need. If you don't know what you need to do and you're just experimenting, this is a good board to go with. Simply because you can do just about anything you want to do with what you can expect from the Arduino. The best thing about it is it requires no special drivers, nothing special from DF Robot, you're basically done. All you need is this board and the ability to read what's on the board. And as well as you know the Arduino.cc site where you can download the IDE for Arduino and download your sketches straight onto the Arduino and do whatever you need to do. Again, highly recommended, very stable, very safe, um, has served all of our purposes. Uh, that's it. Take care and I hope to see you soon.